presented, who is a resident of Bihar, homemaker, and presented with the complaints of swelling in the neck for past nine years. And uh, swell be swelling in front of the neck. No, there is no neck. In front of the in neck. In front of the neck. Presented with swelling in front of the neck for past eight to nine years and two swellings in the scalp region for past uh, six months. The patient was apparently there nine years back when she noticed a small swelling uh, in front of the neck, which had, which was around two into two centimeters, and has gradually progressed over uh, a period of nine years to the present size of approximately six into five centimeter. Uh, patient uh, does not complain of uh, any loss of appetite or uh, there is no history suggestive of hypo or hyperthyroidism, no history uh, of uh, uh, difficulty in swallowing or a change in voice, no history suggestive of pressure symptoms. Patient also complains of uh, uh, two swellings in the scalp for past six months. The first swelling appeared uh, in the occipital region uh, which was uh, around two into two centimeters to begin with and has rapidly progressed in size over just six months to attain the present size of around 15 into 10 centimeters. Another swelling is present since two months on the right side of the forehead. The swelling is, uh, uh, was 2 into 2 centimeters and has gradual and has rapidly progressed in two months to attain the present size of uh, 6 into 5 centimeters. There is no history of headache, no history of pain in the swelling and there is no history of any bleeding or discharge also from the swelling. Uh, there is no history of, uh, there is no family history of MN related malignancy or head and neck related uh, malignancy in the first degree relatives and uh, she's, uh, she consumes mixed diet uh, with normal bowel bladder habits and normal sleep pattern and uh, there is no history of uh, any drug abuse. Uh, coming to the examination, examine the patient in the sitting position in a well lit room after taking an informed consent in the presence of a female chaperone. I first inspect it from a distance and then from near and palpate it from behind except for the trachea. On head and neck examination, there is a, there's a swelling in the thyroid fossa. Uh, the right lobe of the thyroid is enlarged. It is around... Yes, sir. There are visible pulsations. Uh, there is a 5 into 6 cm swelling, uh, 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 thyroid swelling involving the right lobe of the thyroid which is moving with the deglutition. The lower border could be, could be seen. Yes, sir. The swelling is moving with deglutition, and um, the the surface appears uh, smooth. There are dilated veins, few dilated veins over the chest wall, and there are visible pulsations. Not so. No, it is related to the swelling. Yes. Okay. Right hand on the left. Yes, I do. Um, so, uh, the uh, left side sternocleidal mastoid is prominent, uh, suggesting that the trachea is deviated towards the left. Palpation from behind for the swelling. Uh, the, it's a solitary thyroid uh, uh, nodule and uh, it is around 6 into 5 cm with well defined margins. The lower border could be palpated. The surface was uh, uh, nodular. Uh, the surface was smooth. It was uh, firm to hard consist. It had firm to hard consistency and the local regional temperature was not raised. It was non-tender. Uh, examination of the cervical uh, for the cervical lymph nodes. Carotid pulsation, where are they? Now that they are, this is what needs to be seen. Palpating only on one side. So again, uh, at the level of the thyroid cartilage, could laterally uh, in front of against the shy shagnix tube open. Okay. What do you find? Some of you examine and let me know. Sir? Some of you examine and let me know. There is a thrill. No, There is a thrill. It is in a normal position. But there is thrill. So there is hypercircling. See that scapular, I am feeling bite all along. Common carrot. All along. My finger is moving. Yes, sir. They are moving. It's moving. It is hyperdynamic. That's all. I 
can feel right down here. I don't feel the same on the left side. Left side is normal. There is something in the right side which is hyperdynamic. There is a thrill also perhaps. Now what do you do? Compare on both the sides, but both hands are there. Look at my fingers. There is a difference? Yes, sir. It's clearly, jumping on the right side, it is expensive. hyperdynamic, hugely. And actually, the gland is sitting on the carotid, almost. That's the gland. This is a gland. It's hard and it is actually should have been mentioned as hard. And the surface is not smooth, it's nodular. I mentioned nodular. No, that's better. Stick to what you think first. All the mobile. And now we'll try and auscultate for the brewing. Please watch where we look for the You can hear the growing. Here, concentrate on the sound like a murmur, right? Yes. So you can hear the brewery. It's a hyperdynamic circulation happening. Sorry. Now this is a huge swelling actually. There are pulsations even here. You can't appreciate any dilated vessels. Pulsatile mm. swelling. Mm. We feel. Stabilization. Now come to the front. Thuk Satake Ka Mata Ji. This is the swelling. Mm. Moving well with deglutition. Clearly yes. A dilated vein here and you can see that this is prominent trail sign is suggestive of shift to the right. left side left side because it is on the right side classical case trachea is pushed to the left can you see that yes. and I'll palpate it now interesting case has it can actually feel there is a hard nodule which moves on deglutition. Hard, very hard. Trachea is smooth. I can feel it. Thuk satake ya Mataji ek baap fir se. Dhanyavad. This is the nodule which is hard and mobile so far. I can't feel any nodes. The two can be connected. How? Metastasis. This is a pulsatile. Pulsatile skull metastasis, bony, it's totally dissolved. The and it has been present for the last how many years? Are we? Six months, sir. Only six months. Once and it's swelling for six months, the temporal swelling. There's a temporal swelling also. 
which actually is associated with dilated veins none of them is compressible they are soft and non tender classical case of thyroid with totally destroyed this is osteolytic lesion no? and so you can see the bulge here outer cortex the outer cortex in the middle wall see almost destroyed yes. so some some reasons for pulsation could be the intracranial pulsations getting carried carried away now we'll we'll approach it like uh, we do routinely in the form of uh quadruple test this will be a classical case for a quadruple test and uh, when we are doing the quadruple test we'll also get ct head also ncct head to look for the extent of damage mm -hmm. and quadruple test to establish whether it's follicular or not it will be treated as malignant unless proven otherwise what is your diagnosis now so 62 year lady with uh, solitary thyroid nodule with the uh, clinically youth thyroid probably um, uh, malignant with no pressure symptom with with metastasis with metastasis skull and I operated on a similar patient where the pictures are available on the net if you're interested. Where it actually subsequent to total thyroid ectomy, it got completely uh, it melted with radioactive iodine. Mean, so there is a treatment available for this patient. Uh, scalp and thyroid is also palpable. Sir, do we need to rule uh, do ultrasound abdomen to rule out renal cell carcinoma because it also be palpable metastasis or we considered as a thyroid only metastatic from thyroid in the presence of a primary thyroid is a, there is a primary present now your question is valid we should exclude rcc but that doesn't mean uh, we will we will forget about the thyroid so it is visible so we get an ultrasound of the abdomen done you are right what else would you like to do now uh, there there is an ultrasound done cheese and can you read the ultrasound Higher resolution ultrasound has been done. So the quadruple test has been done. Uh, ultrasound whole abdomen. The short liver is normal. Gallbladder appears to be normal. The pancreas appears to be normal. Spleen is normal. Then the right kidney appears to be normal in size, shape, echogenesis. Okay, you got your answer. Yes, sir. Speak loudly. You got it. Yes. Sir. So there is no RCC. All right. Then yes, what else? Our there is only right renal cortical cyst. स्केलेटल सर्वे नॉट गुड इनफ